So you've just registered for your first MOOC and you're wondering what to do next. There are many ways you can succeed in a MOOC. You might just want to follow along and get a sense of the topic. You might be doing it for course credit. You might be doing it to develop a new learning network or to help finish that project you're working on. This video is how I look at success in a massive open online course. Let's say you've just registered for a MOOC about thingamajiggets. You've registered at the course site and you've decided that you're going to commit your time, but you're trying to figure out where to start. This is five steps to succeed in a MOOC. You need to orient, declare, network, cluster, and focus. First, you need to orient yourself. Where are the materials? The links you'll need to use every week. The times of the live sessions? Gather these together. Bookmark them. You'll find that in some ways, a MOOC is a lot like just being on the web, with one big exception. A MOOC is paced. There are readings and topics, and they're separated in the weeks. While no one is going to be checking on you to make sure you read everything, the materials are there, and while you don't need to cover everything, the more you cover, the more you can participate. The next thing you need to do is declare yourself. You need to have a place for your thoughts and your reflections to live. It might be a blog that you write in, it might be a discussion forum that's part of the course. Your MOOC will have some way of gathering all the reflections on your course together. It might be a tag or some other method. Let's say your course tag is thingamajiggets2011. Maybe you already have a blog or you can set one up online. You can write a reaction to one of the readings, add a course tag to it and post it to Twitter. And then probably nothing happens. No one grades it, no one comments. You've declared yourself, but no one seems to have noticed. You need a network. You need to follow some other people reflecting on the material and make some connections. Go back and take a look at the communications you've been getting from the facilitators. Do a search for the course tag. Find some people's work, read a few posts and comment on them. Those connections and your comments are what the course is all about. Better yet, go back to your spot and write a thoughtful reply to someone's questions or concerns. Tell them about it, make connections. There is a discussion going on, and a discussion is probably what you took this course for. After a few weeks, it's probably time to cluster. During the first couple of weeks, the readings and commenting, you'll notice that there are a couple of other people whose interest in thingamajiggets is very close to yours. You'll find that you're returning to their work more often, that they're commenting on your work more often, that you're connecting. You don't need to connect with everyone. Find yourself a cluster of people who are focused on what you're interested in. A group of people for you to work with. Maybe even a community that might share ideas after the course is over. Finally, and this is especially important to me, you need to focus. Even with all the positive connections and the interesting readings and the learning about thingamajiggets, I always find that a little over halfway through an open course, my mind starts to wander. Maybe you're not sure what you're trying to do with the course. If you're not trying to finish the course for credit, why are you trying to do it? Maybe you have an idea about something that you could do with thingamajiggets at work and decided to post your idea on your blog. You can draw in your new cluster to help you with your plan. Start a project, maybe a paper, maybe a grant, and use the rest of the course to finish it. After 10 weeks, you'll know lots more about thingamajiggets. You'll have made some valuable and useful professional connections and have a project that you can apply right back to your work. You'll have succeeded. Orient, declare, network, cluster, and focus. MOOCs are open, and that includes being open to different ways of success. This is my way.